Storm Bella battered the French coast. Storm Bella. Strong winds and heavy rain with Storm Bella. Storm Bella approaches. Now the problem is that we didn't know Storm Bella was coming. I actually had a vlog for today to upload, which is all about Nicole and I building the roof of the greenhouse. It was completely done and then uh, a storm came. So uh, I first started myself on the greenhouse, put in the first six sheets of glass, actually fell off the stairs, that was quite funny. Then Nicole joined in, we did two nights of working here, putting in another six sheets, then two more days, first Christmas day, and second Christmas day, we worked on the greenhouse and we had it finally done, but we weren't aware of the fact that there was a storm coming so we just left it. We went to have some dinner with some friends and when we were there we realized that wind was picking up. We weren't too sure what it was about. We did some, uh, some looking up. We noticed that there was a storm. When we got back from having dinner, we actually went to the greenhouse first just to check. Uh, one glass, this piece fell over so I made sure to secure the rest with a little bit of a string so that was fine and safe and we couldn't do much more for the greenhouse. The next morning, Nicole went and checked for the greenhouse. Everything was still looking fine. It was a little bit windy and a little bit rainy, but not much else. She decided to leave it for the day because it was really windy and really rainy and she couldn't do much about it. So just left it. At the end of the day, when my shift was over at work, I went and had a look before it was dark. And that's when we saw the disaster. Now the main reason this happened is because a greenhouse is designed to take force from the outside and not from the inside. But since we only had the roof structure done, there was just one big wind coming from underneath and the roof is supported by its own weight. So the moment it lifts, it can go out of its structure because it's not secured in place whatsoever. It's purely based on weight. And when the weight is gone, it just collapsed. We asked the neighbor, it all happened at once. So it was one big bang and then it was all over. There's a few things still in there. I'm gonna secure those in place and then we're gonna order some new glass and just build the structure again. The roof is now secured again. We can now start and clean up all this glass mess. We're almost done cleaning out all the glass from the floor. We had some help from Nicole's mom, so that was great. Now, uh, I did support the roof again. It should stay in place right now. Uh, I already ordered some new glass, so it's gonna finish. We're gonna finish this greenhouse next year, so we'll be all right. For now, I'm gonna leave you with a recording a few days ago of Nicole and I, where we just wanted to look back on the year. Welcome in our greenhouse. Now, it's not completely finished, mm -mm. but we got quite far. The entire roof is almost in and we fixed one panel to the side, realized that we can't do much more today, but it's... Officially Christmas today. It is. It is. It's so. really sunny, the weather is great, it's really cold, my nose is freezing off, it's probably it's not that red cold. and I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, we just wanted to look back at this year for a little bit and just think about some things that we really enjoyed in our time with the channel now. It's the first year. It's not a complete year yet, but what was your most, well, the thing you liked the most about this year? I think ordering the greenhouse, getting the land was really exciting. The tulips, that was a lot of work, but yes. I think it will be looking great. For me, uh, hitting 500 subscribers, yeah. 500 people following us, it's a great milestone. <laughs> really happy with that, actually. Getting the chickens. Getting the chickens, yeah. <laughs> the chickens. A yeah. lot of hassle and was... a lot of sheep, but... A lot of in fun. In the end, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. This morning I let them out, wander around in the garden oh, yeah. and they're looking at us and we're looking at them and they're just so cute. Yeah. And, and the noises, they, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's the plan for next year? I hope to open a beautiful cut flower garden and to be eating your vegetables. Our vegetables. Well, okay. 
Okay. We have like a discussion going on. It's like <laughs> I, I'm the vegetable guy and she's the flower guy. A girl. girl. <laughs> <laughs> we have like a discussion going on. <laughs> where, where I'm the guy and you're the vegetable. Yeah. We have like a discussion going on where I'm like the vegetable Person. guy and, and she's and the flower the girl. Yeah. But uh, it, it's actually we're, we're splitting even. I think oh, we, yeah. we're helping each other a lot. But uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to next year and growing the first vegetables on this land and uh, trying to sell those. It's going to be quite exciting yeah. to just see how we can profit a little bit of doing this and also yeah. get more people into this community and into growing on this space because we yeah. want more people to help out in the end and just mm -hmm. join in and just do gardening just because they like it and they can't do it at home. So I think that's the, the main focus for next year is just yeah. growing this Definitely. community and just uh, having a good time together. I think that's the year for us. Uh, this was the last video for the year. It's been a wonderful year. I'm really happy that we started this, uh, this dream and that we're pursuing it now and that you guys are following along. Thank you guys for watching this year's content. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you guys a happy new year. Try to enjoy it with your family as much as you can. And don't forget to live the farm dream. dream.